Thank you. Thank you so much, choir. Amen. You don't get no better than singing the Bible. That's what that was, Psalm 3. That's what they just sang. So if you want to go back and look at it, that in the Scripture. Matter of fact, that's what the Bible teaches us. We're, we're to pray Scripture and we're to sing Scripture. We're to teach Scripture and we're to preach Scripture. <laughs> Amen. Well, have you enjoyed Brother Shane this week? Amen. Yeah, he's, he's, he's coming along. I've taught him well. <laughs> I did teach his pastor, by the way. I, I don't know if that's saying much, though. You'd have to meet him, and you decide, wouldn't he? <laughs> yeah. Well, I want you to, uh, Shane's done a great job. Again, it's good to have your family with you tonight, and friends, good to have you all tonight. We appreciate you being here. Don't forget tomorrow night we're going to receive an offering to help us with the cost of revival and to help Shane and, and, and uh, give him a good offering as well. So come prepare tomorrow night to do that. And uh, don't forget Thursday's outreach, Saturday, uh, Saturday food pantry. A lot of good things going on this week and uh, ministering in our community, reaching out, helping folks, and that's what it's all about. Let's welcome Shane as he comes tonight. Pray for him and pray for yourself as he comes and preaches the word of God to us tonight. Come on. Good evening. It's good to see you again this evening. I am, uh, well, I'm just, plumb I'm just beside myself, really. Uh, I don't mind taking off and running neither, I'll tell you. And choir, you all but got me up on my feet and lapped around this church, I'll just be honest with you. Uh, you keep singing like that, and I am sure enough going to take you with me when I leave here. That is very, very, very good. I, I appreciate that so much, and you can tell that it is, it, it's from the heart. And I'm telling you now, God inhabits what you're doing. And I am so thankful for that. I have a little story I want to share with you tonight, just kind of, uh, just kind of lighten the atmosphere a little bit. I I, I found this uh, story some time back, and uh, and I've kept it with me. And times when I needed a little chuckle, I'd go back and I'd read that story. And uh, I hope you, I hope it, uh, it tickles you about as good as it did me. 
But the title of it's in called Smile, It Will Increase Your Face Value. It says, a local businessman was excited about his vacation to Miami, where his wife was to meet him later. At the gate, however, there, they had oversold the tickets, and he was forced to take a later flight. When he finally arrived at his hotel, he got notification that his wife would arrive at the following day and discovered Miami was having a heat wave. Still, he was happy to be on vacation and excitedly sent an email to his wife, so he thought. The address was wrong by one letter and was sent instead to the widow of an elderly preacher who had died only the previous day. The email read, Dear wife, departed yesterday as you know. Just got checked in. Some confusion at the gate. Appeal was denied. <laughs> Receive confirmation of your arrival tomorrow. And P.S., you're going to be surprised how hot it is down here. <laughs> the elderly woman <laughs> promptly fainted. I believe I would have too, amen. I thought that was pretty good. I thought that was pretty good. Excuse me just a moment. I want you to know I've enjoyed myself this week. I, I really have. I have grown to love each of you. I don't know all of your names. I know just a few of you by name. Uh, but I will definitely remember you by face. And I hope and pray to see you again. I have really enjoyed being with you. And I want you to know that I, I truly, deeply love you. And I am praying for you. Uh, praying that God will richly bless you. That He will strengthen you with might by His Spirit in your inner man. And that you will grow continuously in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God has great plans for Pilgrim Baptist Church, and He has great plans for you as individuals and corporately. You've been created with a, a purpose. God's designed you for a, a magnificent purpose. And tonight I want you to, to seek that, grasp a hold of that, and give it all you've got for Jesus Christ. Amen. Tonight, if you have your Bibles, and I hope you do, I want to invite you to turn with me to 1 Thessalonians chapter 1. 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, and we're going to be looking at verses 2 through verse 10 tonight. 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 2 through verse 10. And I'm not going to ask you to stand again tonight because of the length of the passage. I'm going to be nice to you and let you sit there tonight. 1 Thessalonians 1, verse 2 through verse 10. And I want to preach on this subject tonight, becoming a dynamic church in a depraved world, becoming a dynamic church in a depraved world. If you found your place tonight, I would ask you to say amen. Well, let's begin reading together. The Bible said, We give thanks to God always for you all, making mention of you in our prayers, remembering without ceasing your work of faith and labor of love and patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ, in the sight of God and our Father, knowing, brethren beloved, your election of God. For our gospel came not unto you in word only, but also in power, and in the Holy Ghost, and in much assurance, as you know what matter of men we were among you for your sake. And you became followers of us and of the Lord, having received the word in much affliction, with joy of the Holy Ghost, so that you were examples to all that believe in Macedonia and Achaia. For from you sounded out the word of the Lord, not only in Macedonia and Achaia, but also in every place your faith to Godward is spread abroad, so that we need not to speak anything. I love that passage of Scripture right there. Verse 9, For they themselves show of us what manner of entering we had into you, and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God, and to wait for His Son from heaven, whom He raised from the dead, even Jesus, which delivered us, from the wrath to come. Let's pray together. Father, thank you so much, God, for what we've experienced here tonight. Lord, my heart can do nothing but praise you. And I'm so thankful, Lord, how that we were reminded that, Lord, it was your life for mine. And it's because, God, you took my place that I'm able to stand here tonight saved by the grace of God, able to go to heaven because...